They call them the pioneers of liberation and the Sword of Jerusalem summer camps run by Hamas and Islamic Jihad. These videos posted by Memory, the Middle East Media Research Institute, show what the youth of Gaza are doing this summer. We did not come here to enjoy ourselves or to play or anything like that. We came with our souls, our blood, our martyrs, and are wounded to sacrifice ourselves for Palestine and for our people. This promotional video urges students from primary school, high school, and college to participate. In the camp, target practice involves AK-47s, anti-tank weapons, and video simulations. So that in the next phase, Allah willing, these boys will be able to confront the plundering enemy and disfigure its face in the next war. In May, Hamas and Islamic Jihad called the 11-day war with Israel the Sword of Jerusalem. Their goal, preparing the next generation for the next war. These young men and boys learn anti-Semitism at an early age. We asked Hitler why he left some of you alive. He did so in order to show us how wicked you are. We will come to you from under the ground and hammer fear into your hearts. And above the ground, we will tear your bodies apart with our rockets. Scram into the shelters, you mice, you sons of a Jewish woman. In 10, 15 years from now, the kids will be adults or parents and maybe even an official in Gaza and decision makers. So the extremism in Gaza will be even worse. Given these summer camps, it appears clear the goal is that the battle for Jerusalem will continue into the next generation. On Saturday, Hamas launched an unprecedented attack sending more than a thousand fighters into Israel. Men, women, and children were ruthlessly and mercilessly killed. 260 bodies were removed from the desert. For the slaughter, the slaughter was there. It was the largest mass murder of Jews in a single day since the time of the Holocaust. The brutality of Hamas brings to mind the worst rampages of ISIS. Hello. Yeah, man. 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 Y